on today's episode. Here we can obviously see the anti-vibration plate on the ZMR 250 that I have. And if you're curious, these little bits of fishing line tied through there, just to keep the wreckage in the, uh, in the same vicinity in the event of a close encounter with terra firma. Not that I'm saying my flying skills leave something to be desired. It's a fairly simple arrangement, but where are we going to find these grommets? The answer to that is uh, if you don't have some lying around already, you can probably beg a couple of old CD or DVD drives from your local computer repair shop. They're pretty much just throwaway items these days. There is a plate. You can see uh, two of the grommets here. This plate here is, is also on two grommets. Simply a matter of disassembling this uh, to, to get those grommets out. Of course, you could just go and buy some, but if you're cheap like me, then uh, this works. As you can see, the grommets recovered are two different styles. I prefer this one, and fortunately, I happen to have another drive to take apart. So I'm going to find those two, and then we'll find ourselves a suitable base material. Here are typical cameras that we could use, the Runcam and the, the older Mobius. The ideal material, uh, in fact, probably the best thing to do with a credit card is to cut it up. So I've marked this one out, I'm going to cut it in half, and I've made some diagonals to find the centre of the holes that will be required to pass the grommets through. The grommets themselves, inner part there is six millimetres, four six millimetre holes and to make sure that they all line up. Once we cut the card in half, we can put the two halves together and then just uh, drill our holes through both pieces. Let's get on and do that. To keep the two parts aligned, I actually put a little bit of double-sided sticky tape between the, the, the two parts. That ensures that the holes are going to line up perfectly. What has happened as the drill bit passed through, you can see here there's quite a lot of a flash sticking up which we need to get rid of. I have a rather neat tool to uh, to do that with. So just a couple of turns with this tool and the flashing is gone. Perfect. Nearly there now, just the last grommets to go. If you want to see how that trick's done, there's uh, another video that I made about how to insert grommets. How you attach this to the craft and the camera to this is pretty much uh, down to your own choice. Uh, the run cam has its own little holder, um, so you could probably just tie wrap that to the, to the top. And this one I put Velcro on before, so I'll put a Velcro pad in there and we should be good to go. What I elected to do in the end was to 3D print a little plate uh, with some recesses in so that it didn't interfere with the with the grommets. So this is the, the top plate where the Mobius or whichever will, will sit. And I'm not forgetting the little safety tie which will be connected to something structural. So I think that should work very well. Now, I know what you're thinking. If I can 3D print just the, the base part, why don't I 3D print the whole thing? Which indeed I did. This one I set up and just changed the size of the holes to suit the grommets that I, I found. In the case of the run cam, we can use one of their handily provided straps. And once again, there's usually a place on a, on a camera to be able to secure it with another length of a, a fishing line, as I prefer to keep all the wreckage in, uh, in close proximity. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and if there's enough interest, I can upload this to, uh, to Thingiverse and you can uh, make your own.